and this is Amy and welcome to Play Day 2012. the Community Engagement Award last year because you know it's just everybody coming to the park on the day it's about taking part in risky play and um, just a family day out it doesn't cost anything um, it's just getting off, uh, you know, everybody involved in the community and um, just offering, offering activities that maybe people don't get a chance to do. So we were asked to come along and do uh, an outdoor climbing tour. What was it like climbing the wall? Well, it was my first time and it was quite hard, but when I got the hang of it, did you get all the way to the top? Yeah, I think I would have collapsed, but then I hate it. What's it like being right to the top? Uh, it's quite scary the first time. I think if you get the habits young, you know, they're, they're used to physical exercise and as well as being healthy, I think mentally it's good for them. Because I think days like this are important as well, obviously, I don't know the background everybody coming here, but because it's been paid for, I guess, by the local authority, it means that anybody can come along, it's no cost them money and they can get a go at things that they normally maybe not be able to afford, so it's inclusive, I guess, everybody involved. Try, where possible, to kind of get um, more stuff every year just to kind of keep people's interest and um, but it's even just the hay bales I mean there's 60 hay bales come in the day and just people just have fun in it. Every child that comes up gets their name on one of these foam hex sheets. Uh, there's me and two of Glasgow's top graffiti artists here are going to produce names individually for everyone. Every single one of them's bespoke, uh, individual to that child, and um, they get it free of charge. Um, they have a saying where they want black and white, they have a saying what kind of style of lettering they like. Some of the staff of the council will show them through some reference material, get some graffiti books here and things like that and that will um, that'll help them decide what they like and then uh, they sit and they watch the, the name coming alive in front of them. So, so if you've shown them what they can do, they can maybe take it away and they can try it themselves? I'd like to think so, yeah. I mean, most most of the kids say that they're going to either put it on their bedroom door or put it on their bedroom wall. Yeah. You know, so you like to think if it's something that they're standing, that they've got there to look at and they've seen how it's done, it'll hopefully inspire them a wee bit, you know. I've got this is honey. Yeah. What type of owl is she? She's a southern white faced scops owl from South Africa. She's gorgeous. Honey. Honey's three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Really small compared to like some of the other owls, though, aren't they? Well, the barn owls, by the time they are um, six weeks old, total up, they're um, fully grown by six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. This is fluffy and soft. <laughs> What is it you're hoping to do here today? Um, introducing people from the people of East Ayrshire into archery. Um, it's been an Olympic sport and uh, over the, the past few months the North West Youth Project have been developing um, a, an archery club and we're just growing from strength to strength and being where we were asked to come along to the play day today. We're really excited to let everybody have a shot and just to see what's a great, a great sport that it is. So do you think play day is a good idea? It is a good idea because a lot of these folk have never seen actually been done before, apart from it in television and pictures, and they're all loving it. You can see how they're, how they're queuing up. I know the queues are going for go. Yeah. Go. Kids queuing up, practising beforehand up <laughs> See, and once, see once, you, once you get it, and once you start hitting the target, you want to come back for more and more, and, and that's what it's all about. It's great, it's great because it's free for everybody, which is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, we've got on your play day today, so just get a wee bit of face painting done. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I mean, the weather's not been ideal, but it's always a good show. And I mean, as you've seen today, there's hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of people turned out today. Um, but it's a great wee event. Money's a wee bit tighter, and sometimes a lot of kids are kind of stuck with stuff to do, so the play day puts on a good day out for them. And I mean, it's pretty much all free, so kids love it. There's so much to do up the top. We've got the skate park down here, we've got face paint and then they've got all the giant inflatables so there's something for everybody. We even had a couple of adults come up and give face paint a try. Then we've got the Olympic zone as well this year to sort of celebrate the 2012 Olympics and um, I think that's been a really good success for taster sessions for young kids and hopefully can join in and get you know into affiliated clubs and um, you know start taking up sport. I work for East Ayrshire Libraries and part of the Young People's Team. Um, this is Anne, she also is part of the Young People's Team. We do events for children and up to teens. Um, this is, we're doing Bookbug sessions here today for under fives. Bookbug's an initiative run by the um, Scottish Book Trust. Um, it's their book sharing programme um, aimed at promoting early literacy and learning um, in babies and children, trying to introduce people to learn that you can share books um, with babies and children from a young age. And there's quite a few intervention activities as well as well as coming to do events like this just to raise the profile of it. One, two, three. Personally, I think it's. Um, a really good initiative. It's great for East Ayrshire to have this free event um, that's accessible for so many people to come to. My name's Denise Millen and we're from the Conservation Volunteers. We're here to promote the work that we do with school kids. Um, we do environmental work with school kids and develop their school grounds and um, get them to um, find out more about the wildlife that lives in their area and how to identify it. Olympic crafts, um, we have Olympic flags over here, we were printing on the Olympic rings. At this table we're making Olympic hats as such, and at this table we're making Olympic streamers with the colours from the Olympic rings. So we're all Olympic themed today. <laughs> we're, making we're making medals, we're making Olympic torches, we're making play day bags, and we've got like a free painting thing, and everybody can just like put handprints and write their names and stuff on the painting. So that's like a memory of the day basically? Yeah. What are you doing today? Uh, uh, and how do you need your torch? Uh, uh, And the Play Forum are really interested in trying to promote play and to promote lots of opportunities where children can use their imagination and be creative in play. You know, it's a, it's a shame there's so much television and technology that you know children are forgetting the natural play experience of just being outside, being in the environment, getting fresh air and meeting their friends and just playing and having fun. What's it like being involved with Play Day? It's uh, great because you come and you meet folk and you, the people are happy and they're enjoying themselves. Uh, it makes it all well worthwhile. All the people who organise it, they, they absolutely deserve medals, every one of you. And it's important for you folk who participate as well. It's superb. Are you enjoying Play Day so far? Yeah. yeah. 
Jay Eskins, can I see that? What's been your favourite thing? That. <laughs> like... Mad Sage. Oh yeah, best, it's the best day ever, man. Best day. Coming back next year. And what else? Totally. Oh, uh, I've done a bit of everything today. I've done the rock climb to canoeing to the bull ride, and then uh, did this for the last. And as you can see by the state of us all, it's a fun day. We're uh, volunteering here. We've been volunteering for what's that? Three years. We've been volunteering. So all the families get together and they just have a good time. And it's like you get messy, but no one really bothers about it because you know if they're messy, it means they've had a good time, and that's the good thing about it. Um, you come here, you meet the folk, you you talk to the easies, you get mucky. <laughs> yeah. You just have a great time. That's yeah. why it's always a brilliant day, it and is. it doesn't matter what the weather is. Folk will always come out. fabulous to see so many families it's not just the kids it's the mums the dads the the grannies that are all here yeah and everybody's joining in and it doesn't matter if it's wet well i was involved at the beginning on a lot of the you know setting it up because i was chair of the committee that set it up um until it got charitable status and then i stepped away and it was it was wonderful i mean a lot of meetings and things like that and the first one we were all like Oh, is it going to work? And it did. And it's just got bigger and better every year since. As you can see behind me, we've got a wire walk over there. We've got a wee sausage sizzle going on. You can see the flames. Yeah. Uh, and inside the, the tent there, we've got some art activities for the younger kids. It's great. It's bedlam. But it's great fun. The great opportunity. The sun's come out. Thank goodness. Yes, it's a great opportunity to have fun with the kids and maybe introduce scouting to some kids that may not have thought about it in the past. Could you maybe explain to us why it's associated with the play day. I think because we're really both working for the same aim which is to give young people in East Ayrshire the opportunity to have fun and explore their creative side and their sporty side and yeah. it just ties in nicely with what scouting is all about. Do the kids that have had those and things Oh, they're themselves. absolutely loving it. And what's lovely about the crate climbing is that they're doing it from all ages, yeah. from the littlest six-year-old right up to, well, we'd have a scout up there earlier, a teenager, and it's great fun, and it's slightly scary, which is, is always good <laughs> I'd fun. I'd never do it. I was just going to say, do you want to go? No! <laughs> Are you sure? In, in general, any time that East Ayrshire Play Forum have any activity going on, we like to be there, obviously, to, to help promote the scouting side of things, and uh, from one point of view, it's good to meet all the young people and, and see them enjoying themselves. So it's so important. Every year to me has been a success. There's nothing to beat being outside. You know, that there are certain things you've got to be inside and working, but it, it gives you the freedom. You feel freer when you're outside, I think, than being in an enclosed space, say the house or whatever, a classroom. from Glasgow up today. This is our first play day event. Um, Libby's just about to start school. We knew about it last year so 
I think I would recommend it to everybody. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's not just necessarily people that are in Kilmarnock career shifts. It all seems quite interesting and there's a lot of age relevant stuff going on. But the fact that it's all free is a real big incentive because I'm here with three children. Um, so it does make a big difference. I think everybody just has a, a great time and that's what makes it good and that's what makes it a highlight for me. I can come across here, I get on with this, I do what I do and have a bit of buzz, a bit of banter, a bit of fun and as I say everything just turns out good at the end of the day because everyone has enjoyed themselves and that's what matters. You, you know if you've got kids with there and you didn't come to this it's, it's a shame because they're missing out on so much fun and it's good to see them enjoying themselves. It's some of the simplest of things, you know, it's, it's great. It's brilliant. What's been your favourite thing? Much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was the thing where you hit him with one of the big things and then follow. Diamond? I like the type. Type one. Type one. Type one. Type one. Type To, to next year um, I think I mean it's just it's such an event in the, co in the calendar now I mean people come from all over um, buses down from Glasgow Helensburgh uh, Cowinnan Ayr so I think it's just it's on the map as a, a, a great success and uh, everybody just comes from far, far and wide to attend it wish play day was on every day um, if you could sum up today in a few words what would they want to be um, fantastic uh, great exercise, fresh air, and above all, it's free. Cool. Cool. Awesome. 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 Fun. Awesome. Fun. Spectacular. Fantabulous. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's a great experience. It's a great experience. Fantastic. Uh, excellent. Awesome. A good day out. Uh, family time. Fun. Family. Fun. Family's probably <laughs> the best part. Wave to the camera. <laughs> that's what it's about. Really and truly, really, that's the fun side. Looking forward to it,